Hey everyone, I'm back. This is a little bit of a different type of video because um, there's a project that I have, you know, had in mind for a, a little while now and it just didn't really hit that I can actually, you know, really do this um, with the number of stamps that I have. Um, but with the um, release of stamps from Adornit and Diana Markham, um, obviously I am an, well, not obviously, but I'm an ambassador for, um, for Adorn It. And so we get a lot of the product, um, that is coming out. So I wanted to go ahead and make a recipe album, um, as a keepsake, um, and as like a project sort of, um, that I wanted to make. So, um, I am creating a recipe book that is going to be, um, a year long project. Um, so it's one of those things that, um, I'm going to be adding to as we go along, um, when new stamps are released and, or when I have time to add into the book. So this is not a necessarily a design team project. This is just me crafting, um, with things that I have and, um, also, you know, wanted to gear up for. So, uh, the other designers, uh, may also be participating and playing along and I wanted to invite you as well my viewers who I know some of you really enjoy her stamps and have um, signed up to receive the subscriptions and or have purchased some of her stamps along the way that she had out uh, previously so um, and some of them are going to be re-released um, and they may be a little bit of a different size I don't know that but I wanted to share with you what I'm going to be creating with um, and plan to start building up. So my recipe book is actually going to be, um, you know, containing her recipes. And with a typical recipe book, you usually have a front cover and a back cover and tabs in between to label the different types of food, like entrees and soups and desserts and appetizers, those types of things, right? That's like a typical recipe book. Um, Adornit is coming out with a recipe book in the fall, I believe is what the timing was for it. But, you know, crafters, we got to make stuff, right? So um, I will have um, videos that are sharing the different recipes that I am inserting into my recipe book. And so because of the nature of it being a year type of project or something that's going to be uh, a certain length of time. Um, I want to be able to add in new pages whenever I want. So I've decided to, to uh, do a certain type of binding that will allow me to do that. Now you can do this any way you want. It's your project. If you want to keep your project at the end of the time period or gift it to somebody else, that's up to you. I'm just inviting you all to play along and to watch the process um, and see how I build up my journal. Okay, so I'm just going to share some of the things that I plan to put in here and some of them may not make it. Some of them may. It just depends. I've gathered my supplies. I don't have everything together yet because I'm still waiting on some orders that I placed. I'm so excited. Um, but you know, it is what it is. We're crafters. We, we do what we do and maybe you just look and see what you have on hand if you want to play along. I think it'd be fun for you to craft along with us. And we also have a hashtag. Um, that actually you'll see in the title of this video and I will put it in the description box. So if you are playing along with us, please use the hashtag to um, post your projects. It's going to be hashtag Diana Markham recipe book, all one word. And you'll see this in the title of my video as well as the description box. So if you want to use it over on Instagram as well, you can search um, in your computer browser for that hashtag and you can see all the projects, videos and images of what people are posting. That's a way for all of us as crafters to kind of see and be inspired by all the projects people make. So I wanted to create a separate hashtag for it um, so that we could just all share what we're doing. And um, you know, maybe you'll be inspired to play along and you don't have to start with me. You can start whenever you like um, and start posting. Um, but the hashtag, as long as we can keep it up, right? Um, I will continue to post as long as I can continue to make projects that will go inside of my recipe book. Okay. Um, so here's some of the, um, 
items I have to share. Now, I'm not going to share anything um, like process wise for me creating the book in this video because I haven't even started on it and I have to work out what size I want, the shape and all that kind of stuff. So here are my thoughts that I have as, as of this video. Okay. So here's some of her stamps and I probably should have brought out a piece of paper where I can share. Let me see if I've got, okay. Um, I have a paper pad here that I can share it on. So this is her recipes stamp that you can purchase. That's not a, it's not available as part of the subscription. I believe it's a, it's a single item you can purchase. Um, maybe you want to use this for your front page of your book. I don't know if this will be the front page of my book yet, but I certainly am thinking about it, right? Um, so you need to keep in mind the sizing of the stamp and how would you want to position this, but it's a beautiful stamp. It's a really fun one to have. Um, here's the chocolate chip cookie and the chocolate chip cookie jar. So definitely a recipe and definitely going in my book, right? So I wanna make sure that I'll have enough space for the recipe and anything else I want to put on the page. It's not just going to be sized like a um, regular greeting card. Okay, so it will be larger than that. Here's the fruit salad stamp and there's also accompanying fruit. So definitely going to be going into my book as an insert. And then I have also the kitchen um, accessories. So these would be great on different pages if you want to to use them throughout your book because they're not just, you know, they're just cooking related or baking related. So you can definitely um, use those as well. I do have some of her older stamps. Um, she did, well, she, I want to say Adorn It actually, if you haven't seen the video, uh, it's the first video that they did for their release. And that was May 11th, I believe, is on their on their Facebook page. They have the video up, I believe. So they, they ran through the whole subscription um, stamp sets. So all the recipes were previewed for the subscription, but you know there's also add-ons, which they didn't show. And then the other stamps are going to be a surprise. So there's going to be a lot coming, guys. So there's no, there's no um, lack of stamps that you will have to insert into this type of recipe book and you can create along with me so hopefully that will help some of you folks that i know um has been mentioned there's they go for a lot of money on ebay um and some of those are cost prohibitive right but if you have any of the older stamps you can play along too but these stamps are more affordable so and they're available now you know or there they will be available to you so you can play along with us so i'm just going to bring out some of the stamps that i have collected and these may make it into my book. They may, they may not. If they are reissued um, through the stamp subscription, I will use the new stamp that comes in because um, I want to use the newer product um, as it comes in. So I'll tell you these, these four that I'm about to show you are going to be reissued as part of the subscription. They may be a different size than what they are on the wood block stamp. So this is the the one that kicked it off for me um, and my obsession of gingerbread. So this is the grandma's gingerbread um, stamp. And so they're reissuing this one for this year, I believe, as one of the Christmas ones. Here's another one that they're reissuing. This will come out in photopolymer. It may be bigger. You don't know. I don't know if it's going to be or not, but um, I will want to use the larger one or the other one that comes out instead of this one. Oh, I don't want to knock that down. Here's another one that's coming out. Mom's apple pie. I've colored this one up already as well. Um, of course, you know, apple pie. What do you think of? You think of the summertime probably or the fall time when apples are ready. Um, and then they have this one as well, which is the carrot drop cookies that they'll be coming out. So those are reissue stamps that are going to be coming. I have a, a, a couple of other ones that I can share with you that I have as well. And these ones are um, previously released from Diana Markham. And I may, as, I may put these in my book as well when I get a chance to color them up. So this one is snow ice cream. So it's one for my dessert category, right? Peppermint, peppermint pie. 
another dessert one. She liked the desserts. And this other one is the carrot cake. So another dessert one. So those are all going to be filling my, um, hopefully, my recipe book that I have on hand. And let me just start with um, what my plan is currently to construct the book. So I have decided that I want to use these type of a ring bound um, book. And there are a lot of um, branded and unbranded um, things on the market today to bind it together um, with the rings. So these are um, just some I ordered off of Amazon. I showed these in a previous haul. These are a 34 millimeter and a 24 millimeter um, circle. And I also have a one and 1.75 inch circles as well. These are plastic, but these are metal. So, and they're the same size, but the difference is the material it's made out. Now, if you wanted something stir really sturdy, the metal is the way to go. But if you want something with fun, cute colors, the plastic is the way to go. So I ordered both because I'm just extra. And I know I can use these because I have the punch that you use to put the papers in for this. So my mine will punch through um, chipboard. I have a very good quality punch. It's not made by this brand. Um, it's actually a brand that came out long time before this. they came out with this whole line. Mine is from Staples, um, and it's called an ARC brand um, punch, and it will go through several pieces of paper at a time, so it will definitely punch chipboard if I, if I do my cover in a hardback. And you don't have to do it that way. You can do it however you want. You can even use a cinch if you want to use the O-wires for that. Um, there's so many ways you can do a book binding. Just look on YouTube, and you'll find so many different ways to make journals and you can even use a golden book. That's another route to go. Um, an existing recipe book. You can deconstruct it and use the cover if you want. There's so many things you can do. Just be creative. And I think you'll find it fun to play along. But this is what I decided to go with. Because this matches the colors of the main um, paper line that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using a lot of paper lines. Not just this um these colors okay so I wanted to introduce that idea of the ring bound that's my plan and you'll see videos of me constructing everything I think I'll do the whole process so that you can see how I do it doesn't mean yours has to be that way it just means that I decided I wanted to be able to take the pages out and because I want to use it to actually make the recipe at some point I don't I want to try and not have a lot of thick embellishments and you know build too much up around it that could get dirty or something like that so I'm trying to think of a way to keep it cleaner and less fussy so we're gonna see how that works out um, more to come on that on the actual construction so that's my plan in terms of my um, type of book that I'm building here are some of the stamps I've collected stamps and dies I have um, put some of them together in this container and also pulled some out. I have, you know, <laughs> I know you guys know this. Crafting is sometimes collecting and vice versa. It's kind of a fun thing, right? We love shopping for crafty items because we love crafting. Why not? So these are the stamps and dies that I have um, already. And um, they're not, it's not all of them. It's by no means meant to say you need to have any of this use what you have and or go look for some stuff that you might find useful so um i'm just going to share what i have these are mostly paper tray ink products that may no longer be available so they're already in my stash i didn't buy any of these recently that i know of um dress up dolls let's bake stamp set so th there's actually dolls and I don't have them out, but there's actually dolls like a little boy and a girl that fit to the um, clothes here. So I can use those if I want, or I can just use the little stamps and dies in here. I just pulled it as an example. This one says recipe box. This was actually meant for making one of those little recipe box. Now you can do it that way too. If you don't want to bind them in a book, that's a way for you to be able to pull and put in new things. So build a box that houses it. That's, a, that's another idea. Right? So why bind it all together? Why not put little, you know, index cards or something like that? 
Um, so this is for a recipe box. You can see a lot of the different tabs you would see for a um, book. And so why not use this? I have it in my stash. It's got all the little things that you would write on a card. Um, you can even insert blank cards. So you don't, you know, if you wanna do a recipe here and then you wanna make adjustments, how do you make notes for that recipe? If you, you know, some people have special diets um, or you wanna substitute different things and try them out, make notes on them. I'm gonna actually be putting a, um, additional card with my recipe, so if I do that, then I can write off to the side of the recipe what I did. So it's gonna be a working um, recipe book, right? So there's this stamp. I found this one on sale at Paper Tray Inc. I'm not pushing their products, but I mean, seriously, if they still have this, why not, right? Um, here is an apron die um, that I can build. This is from Elizabeth Crafts. I don't think you have to say too much. This is the right size for me um, in the project. And this one is a frantic stamper baking utensils. This is, oh, this one came recently. Uh, Hero Arts. This is um, a pot and I have also some utensils here. Now this one, the reason I pulled this is because they have a stamp that's coming out and I do have it. I didn't pull it from my my shelf there. It's the the Cup of Cheer, I believe, wassail um, recipe. That one's being reissued. So it's perfect for this type of thing and you would have like probably um, a spoon inside of the thing for mixing, you know, your stuff. So anyway, um, I pulled that one. This one actually makes index tabs on the paper. This is an old paper tray ink. Edgers number five is what it's called. So there's three dies in here and it makes the little tabs. You might have a tab punch or you might have a die that makes the little tabs. Why not use it, right? This is the time to use your stash. And then I have a bunch of other stamps in here um, that are related to cooking or baking. Um, life is what you bake it. You can see the stand mixer. I actually have a mixer somewhere, I think. Um, I just didn't pull it. This one is called, what's it called? Table service. Foodie Fun, Second Helping of Sunshine, so there's uh, mixing bowls and uh, a, a, what do you call it, scale. This one is beautiful because this one is for making jars, canned is what this, what this one was called, and this one was on sale too. It was an excellent price. You get two sheets of stamps and a die or a die or two in there. If they still have this one, I would run and get it um, because... Um, it's got some neat things in here too um, for canning. So if you if we have a jam um, recipe, which I suspect we might, I don't know, um, that would be really cool. And then this one is um, another one that is confetti sentiments and too hot to handle. So also baking related. Now this confetti sentiments, I think, yeah, that goes with the life is what you bake it. And the, that has the dies in there for the stand mixer. So, you know, I do have that. But anyway, those are some additional stamps I have on hand for this project. And I'm gonna keep uh, much of these together. Um, I'm gonna store it all together if I can. Um, and so now let me show you what I plan to use for my paper, okay? Um, many of you have seen me crafting. Um, I, I, put, I put my paper in these 12 by 12 bins that I got from Tuesday morning. I bought the project containers from Tuesday morning too, but I think this might serve me better for now. So I don't like to be too fussy sometimes when it comes to storage. Um, and sometimes I like to dig. Sometimes I do not like digging. So it just depends on what it is and how much of, there, how much of it there is. So right now this can store the rings um, my stamps that I just put off to the side, it can go in this box because there's plenty of room. I have another order coming of paper. So I'm just gonna open this box and show you some of the collections that I have in here. Now, I went with a certain style. You don't have to go with this style. In fact, off to the side, I pulled this paper pad that I purchased from Tuesday morning. You can see it has the pink tag. So it was on sale when I purchased it. This is a 12 by 12 Country Kitchen from Stephen Duncan for Echo Park. 
and you can see the look of this is much more homespun uh, country well country right because it says it in the in the description but you can use this for your um, recipe book no problems right so I have this book and I even have the mega bundle which I also got from Tuesday morning also on sale for $14.99 and this is from <laughs> January 2021 um, this one, because this is the Mega Bundle, it has stickers, it has the solid colors, and it has the pattern papers in it. So um, I realized that I had both of these things, and this would make a substantial recipe book if I wanted to. Um, so this is a different style altogether from what I'm going to show you, because what I'm going to show you is Doodlebug. This is a piece of paper I pulled from Authentique. It is from their... Um, does it say confection to paper pad that I have and on the back of it is bonbons chocolate bonbons so if you have this you may have some dessert papers you might want to make up this has lots of desserts written all, all across the paper it's in a very um, vintage style and it could go in with this particular collection and that's why I pulled it so search your stash people I know you got it <laughs> and the reason I pulled 12 by 12 is because the book is probably going to be um, somewhere along the lines of a 6 by 8 I want to say 6 by 8 um, but I have a feeling it might be end, it might be end up looking different because my pages may not all be the same size and I, I kind of want to I'm tempted to do a shaped one but I don't know yet <laughs> we'll get there when I get there right so let me open this bin up and show you what I've got in here. I, I pulled, see, I don't have, I didn't have um, 12 by 12 doodlebug paper. I had one collection that I had purchased sometime last year, I believe, and it was called Christmas Magic. I didn't even realize I had it at one point, and it's because it had gingerbread on it. So I purchased it not even thinking about this particular project at all, and I also had purchased their 6 by 6 and you've seen me use it for different recipe um, cards now and I love working with it because of the colors they make me happy there's little smiley faces all over them so my book is going to have little smiley faces all over the book okay because doodlebug design that's what they have in their stuff so i would gotten this for free I don't know where this order came from I know I didn't order this particularly it's called love notes and this is the um, odds and ends um, so I threw it in here because there's a cupcake um, cluster up in here and some cakes so who knows this may make a appearance in my book. I put my um, six by six pads in here as well that I already had. So this is the Made with Love um, paper pad, and it's my six by six. It's the only um, well, no, it's it's baking related, and it has nice um, colors, you know, that are just non. They might be non-recipe, you know, um, just you could use them for other things. But there's lots of food items in here. Um, but this is where I based my colors off of for my rings. So that's the reason why I ordered these rings. And I have a feeling I'll be using these larger ones so that I can add as many pages as I want to this book. Um, I won't use all 11 that came inside this whole pack. I will likely use just half of them. Um... And, and that may be just because I want to put together the particular colors. So I, I, you know, the spectrum of the colors is really nice, but I don't need all of all 11 rings to make my book. My book isn't going to be that tall. Okay. So I'm expecting maybe six to eight inches tall, somewhere in that range. Um, and, and I don't know if my pages will end up being rectangular or shaped to a certain shape of something. Okay. So I'll just leave it at that. So Made With Love, and I got their Made With Love Chit Chat. All right, so there's a lot of nice little die cuts in there that can go along. I even got the solid assortment, because you know, bases, right? Bases of your pages. Um, they have a collection called Down on the Farm. Why is that in here? Because she has a cowboy beans recipe that's coming out next year that's the last one in the series I think cowboy beans 
So why not have something that is going to look or go along with that? So I added that in here. It's the only doodle bug paper that it's not got like food items, although there's chickens on here and that is a food item, but you know, and pigs and stuff like that. So we all know what we're eating, right? Um, I got the um, barbecue. That's what this one's called. The Doodlebug Essentials Barbecue Collection. The place that I ordered from, uh, which was Craft Direct, and this that's where um, a lot of these came from today, uh, craftdirect.com. Uh, they had their collections of Doodlebug um, affordable price. It's not, probably not the best price, but this is an Essentials pack, so it's got 12 pages of pattern cardstock, stickers, letters, um, ribbon, it's got some doodle pop and buttons. Okay, along with that, I also ordered their 12 by 12 barbecue petite print assortment. So the colors match. Now I don't have to use them together. I can use them on separate pages. I can do whatever I want, right? Divider pages, whatever. Um, I also got the six by six um, print um, book and then collection book. And then the chit chat again for the barbecue. So here's the, and you probably have all seen this. This is not new collections. None of these are new collections. These all came out um, already. So previously released stuff, but it gets harder and harder to find the longer you wait. So let me put this to the side because I have others in a separate bin. I decided to spread them out because I didn't want the bins to get too packed. So this bin has fall and winter in it. The other one was your general and um, summertime. Okay. So the colors in here are entirely different. These are the pumpkin spice odds and, ends, odds and ends. So I got the collection pack. So this is the odds and ends and you can see there are pies. There's bread in here. Um, what else? Pumpkins because they're re-releasing that pumpkin bars recipe. So why not have some pumpkin? There's even Cinnabons in here. Cinnamon buns. Um, some of the little doodle pops. Um, I have another order that's still out. It won't be delivered for another week. And I wanted to make sure that I could show this video sooner rather than later. Um, this is the pumpkin spice paper pack. This is super cute. I, you know, I don't craft for fall very often, but when you've got pumpkin pie sitting there, don't you need it? <laughs> and donuts. Um, so I did get the um, 12 double sided cardstock plus one sticker sheet in here, but I also got the assortment. Hello. And these are just solid. And I also got the petite print assortment. So these are um, actually prints. And I don't, again, I know I, I don't have to, I'm not going to use all of this up for one recipe book. I can use them for card making. I can use it to make other projects. So I'm not worried about, you know, wow, that's a lot of stuff. But, you know, don't worry about it. You're going to use it up or you're going to hoard it or something else. Um, so let it snow. This is a random paper pad that I had bought too. Um, probably because it had some really cute um, prints in it. Um, it's not necessarily baking related though. Okay, I bought it um, and have it because I had some Christmas paper and I wanted to throw this in here so that if I wanted to use some of these smaller um, prints along with what I'm crafting, I can. And I've done that because I've used this one for the cookie jar card that I just made recently. So doodle pops for, I don't even know what collection this is for. Cookies for Santa is what that says, but it goes with one of these collections. This is the odds and ends for a night before Christmas. So the reason I have this is because there's a gingerbread in it and some hot cocoa with Santa in Santa mugs. Um, there is going to be a hot cocoa recipe coming. So yeah, uh, totally need this. <laughs> I'm not trying to push their products. It's just so cute. You guys, you guys have seen this all before, right? if you watch people's videos. So this is nothing new. Um, I'm just collecting it all for my recipe book. Um, and so this is the Night Before Christmas 12 by 12 collection pack. So this has the sticker sheet in it. And then underneath that, I have the Christmas magic. This is the collection I already had. So I had taken it out of the plastic sheeting, um, but this one has the gingerbread in it. 
So I need some gingerbread, right? Like I need a hole in my head. Um, but this has got little um, gingerbread swags. Come on, you, you gotta have this. This is the chit chat for Christmas magic. So like I said, I have other collections, um, not other collections, but I have other papers coming in a separate order from a different place. I can't even remember the name now. And I thought I would share with you um, what I've collected so far for my recipe book. The idea of playing along with this hashtag. And again, the hashtag is um, hashtag Diana Markham recipe book, all one word. I'll put it in the description box as well as the title of this um, uh, video. And I hope you play along with us. It's going to be a lot of fun. You'll have a nice keepsake once everything is done that you can gift to somebody and that, or that you can keep. Now, here's another thing that I'm planning on doing. Once I've colored up my image of my stamp, let's just say, for example, this one, the chocolate chip one, um, I'm going to photocopy the image, um, the colored image that I actually color, okay? And I'm going to insert it into a separate book that I build, okay? That's my plan. I'm going to build two books at the same time, but the second book is going to have a photocopied image of this. Or I'll, uh, I'll uh, excuse me, I will um, perhaps, what do you call it, um, scan it in. So I'll have the image if I wanted to print it again. But in any case, it's it's my work that I colored because I don't condone, you know, handing those out. Um, do your do your own work and, you know, be proud of what you do. Um, so I'm going to do that to build another book. And that book is going to be a gift. Okay, so <clears throat> that's my plan as I go along. Um, I'm going to be building things that I can use for something else. And... Um, you know, I think the recipient will get a kick out of something like that. So um, that's the idea. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a little bit different than what I normally do. And I hope you play along. I, I know there's a lot of hashtags that are out there and sponsored by other folks. Um, and those are also fun too. Those are great to, to get yourself crafting and to be creative and to use your stash. I obviously... <laughs> I'm using some of my stash and then I bought more stuff for my stash because that's how we do crafters um, going to do that, right? So this is going to be a lot of fun. I hope you join me and I hope you post to the hashtag so we can see what you make. And if you're not, this, it's just something that you can watch along with us and see how everybody does. Um, it'll be a lot of fun. That's what we do. That's what we're here for, to share and to inspire. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will talk to you later. Bye for now.